Hi, hello, how are you? I'm well, thank you for asking. And welcome to Drag Arts and Crafts with me, Simple the Drag Queen, where we're going to do some fun, some fantastic, some fabulous arts and crafting. So today, for our special arts and crafting, the things that you will need are a pen, any kind of pen, or it could be a pencil, anything like a pen or pencil, long and thin. I'll show you what you'll need that for soon. Just you need something like this, something like that. But what else you'll need is pipe cleaners, pipe cleaners. You can use any color, any type. Just make sure that you're with a responsible adult because there are some sharp ends on pipe cleaners including what else we'll need is something that we can use for eyes. I'm going to be using beautiful little diamonds for eyes, but you can get googly eyes. You can not even have something for eyes. You can have a pen or a texture or something that you could draw the eyes with later. But I'm going to be using diamonds because why? I'm a drag queen. And I like things that are sparkly. Have you noticed? Hmm? So what we're going to be doing today is trying to, I say trying because I haven't done this yet. Let's see if I'm able to, and you can follow along with me and see if you're able to do it too. So if you have your pen, if you have your pipe cleaners of any kind, any color, any length, preferably sparkly like this one here, nice and sparkly, and then something to do eyes, because what we're going to do is try and make animals with pipe cleaners, animal pipe cleaners or pipe cleaner animals. The one that I'm going to try is a chameleon. Do you know what a chameleon is? A chameleon? A chameleon? Chameleons are like a lizard and they can change their color and camouflage themselves. So if they were here, they would make themselves look like beautiful shiny tinsel. So you can make a chameleon out of any color pipe cleaner you like. So I have all these different types of types of pipe cleaners I can choose from. I have red, red, I have pink, I have black, white, white pipe cleaner, white pipe cleaner, I have blue, a nice light blue, I have a dark blue, I have a dark blue that is tinselly and shiny, I have dark green, all jumping out at me at the moment. What colour should I pick? I think I might go purple. Nice, beautiful purple. And so we're going to try and make this chameleon. I keep saying trying because I don't know if it's going to work out. I hope it does because I'm a drag queen and I can do anything. And if I can do anything, you can do anything. So if you just follow along with me, let's see if we can figure out how to make this chameleon. We're going to try and find this chameleon. Let's try. So I said I'm going to use purple, didn't I? Purple. Beautiful. Purple chameleon. And so our first step is to get our pen Mine has a beautiful, glittery twist to it. Can you tell I like glitter? And tinsel? We might add tinsel to this chameleon a little bit later. But what we need to do is get our first piece of pipe cleaner, our beautiful purple pipe cleaner, and start by wrapping it around the pen, just like this, twisting. Twisting, twisting, twisting. And now we have, turn it tight, turn it nice and tight. 
around that pen and look at that. See how it's twisted around? Kind of like the tinsel twist that's already on the pen. It's twisted around the pen. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that purple pipe cleaner and pull it off the end of the pen. Look at that. Beautiful purple spring pipe cleaner. So with this one, we're going to set that to the side just for the moment. And what are we going to use that for? I'm figuring this out as I go along. It's a beautiful, beautiful pipe cleaner that we've turned into a spring. I'm not going to tell you what part of the chameleon that's going to be just yet. But before we move on, what colour head do you want for the chameleon? So we have purple. What colour would you like the head to be? What colour goes nicely with purple? Purple is complementary to yellow. So let's, let's control this pipe cleaner. We're going to use this beautiful yellow pipe cleaner and turn it into its head. I'm looking at the picture, figuring it out as we go along, but this we're going to turn into the head, but we're also going to turn it into the tail. So at one end, we're going to twist it around the pen, like we did the body. Ooh, I've already told you what the purple bit was, but we're only going to twist it around twice. See? One, two. We twist it around the pen twice. We're going to pull it off the pen. I like the look of that. We're going to pick up the purple bit again, and we're going to stick the long bit in through the purple spiral. And now, what we have is a yellow head, a purple body, and a beautiful long yellow tail. But what's missing? What's missing on this chameleon? We have a beautiful yellow head, a stunning purple body, and a fabulous yellow tail. What's missing? What is missing on this chameleon? I think I see what's missing. If I hold it by the tail, it has no legs. This chameleon has no legs. What colour should we make the legs? What colour should we make the legs? I think green, but not just any green. This lovely fluorescent green. And the way we're going to make these legs is going to twist them going to twist them, bend them, like this angle, twist them back again, and twist them back again. So we have like an arrow pointing at the chameleon, but with this pointed leg we're going to put it over the back of this chameleon, pushing it through the body. Now we have two very big back legs. Two very big back legs. This is a very strong and tall chameleon. That's only the back legs. We need front legs. What colour should we do the front legs? We have a yellow head, a beautiful yellow head, 
a stunning purple body, a fabulous yellow tail, and now we have a fantastic set of back green legs. So now we need front legs. And I think colour of the front legs should be this hot orange. Look at that orange. That's a stunning orange. And so we're going to do the same as what we did for the front legs. But I think the easiest way to do that is folding it in half. Folding it in half. Folding it in half again. And now we have that arrow again. So we folded it in half. Folded it in half again. Now we have these beautiful hot orange front legs. And the way we put these on, we push it through the body, pushing it through that spiral. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful yellow head. Stunning purple body. Fabulous yellow tail, and now we have absolutely beautiful green and orange legs. And I'm not, I'm not mad at this. I think this chameleon is beautiful. This chameleon probably stands out a little bit too much. But the thing about a chameleon is it can change its colour and disappear. I'm kidding, it's right here. But this chameleon is my favourite chameleon because it's my friend. And I said that I was going to make beautiful eyes out of diamonds. Diamonds. So I'm going to get these beautiful little diamonds and stick them on this chameleon. Oh, that is a beautiful eye. Beautiful diamond eye. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it because I love diamonds. I love shiny things because I'm a drag queen and drag queens love shiny, beautiful things. Look at this. <laughs> okay, this chameleon looks very shocked. Oh, oh. Look, it's not only shocked, it has beautiful, glistening diamond eyes. I think this is my favourite chameleon of all time, unless the chameleon you make is even better. Let me know what, what, what your chameleons look like. If you get to make a chameleon, take a picture, send it to me in a message, and let me know if there's a particular animal that you would like me to make with pipe cleaners. But I have some very special arts and craft planned for next time. But if there's a special, more special arts and craft that you would like me to do, that you can watch me do, that we can do together, send me a message and I will do that arts and craft. I love arts and craft because why? I'm a drag queen, and arts and crafts is what I do. I also do reading. I do drag story time. So if you've finished with your chameleon, your beautiful, shocked chameleon, head on over and have a listen to my reading stories, my drag story time. And until then, keep artsing and craftsing and reading. Have a beautiful chameleon day.